Dusty Law and the Three Bears, written by Susan Lowell, illustrated by Randy Cecil. Once upon a time, way out west, there were three grizzly bears who lived together in a neat and tidy cabin in the woods. One was a little bitty bear cub, just knee high to a bumblebee. One was a mild-mannered, middle-sized mama. And one was a great, big, hump-backed, gray-haired grizzly, nine feet tall and cross as two sticks. They each had a dish to eat their beans from, a little saucer for the bear cub, tin plate for the mama bear, and a great big turkey platter for the great big grizzly bear. And they each had a seat to sit on, a three-legged stool for the bear cub, a rocking chair for the mama bear, and a great big lumpy stump for the great big grizzly bear. And they each had a bed to sleep in, a little straw mattress for the bear cub, a feather bed for the mama bear, and a great big heap of prickly green branches for the great big grizzly bear. One day, while their red hot beans were cooling in their three dishes, the bears went out for a walk. And just as soon as they turned their grizzly backs, something strange came blowing out of the woods. A cloud of smoke, a swarm of mosquitoes, no siree, it was a dirty little girl. She hadn't had a bath for a month of Sundays, so everybody called her Dusty Lump. But Trouble was her middle name. That little outlaw had run away from home without stopping to kiss her mother goodbye. First, Dusty Lump peeked in the bear's window. Then, she squinted through the keyhole of the cabin door. She barged right straight inside. Those grizzlies were fine, upstanding, law-abiding critters, honest as the day is long. And they never locked their door. Beans! cried Dusty Lock. Yahoo! I'm so hungry I could eat a saddle blanket! Now, if the bears had been there, they would have shown true western high and said, sit right down and dig in. But crusty little Dusty Locks didn't wait to be asked. She took a bite of the big grizzly's beans. Mm-hmm. At first, Dusty Locks smacked her lips, but then she let out a yell. Oh, wee! A wildfire flamed inside her mouth. She howled louder than 10,000 coyotes. And Dusty Locks said a very bad word. You see, the great big grizzly bear liked his beef chock full of chili peppers. Too hard! gasped Dusty Locks. When the fire died down, Dusty Locks took a bite of the mama bear's beans. But the mama liked hers plain. No salt, no nothing. Pfft! <laughs> said Dusty Locks and spat them out. She had no more manners than a pig in a peach orchard. Then she took a bite of the bear cook's beans. Just right, said Dusty Locks, and she gobbled them all up, licked the saucer clean, and burnt. <coughs> Next, Dusty Locks sat on the great big grizzly stump. I'm rough and tough, she bragged. But it was even too lumpy and bumpy for her. And then she tried the mama bear's rocking chair. But it had too many fancy dancy cushions for her. So she plunked herself down upon the bear cub's three-legged stool. Just right, said Dusty Locks. But that heavy little rough neck sat the poor stool right into the ground. This made her madder than a half-squashed hornet. She kicked the pieces out of her way and stomped upstairs. Running away is hard work, said Dusty Locks, all tuckered out. 
First, she threw herself down on the heap of green branches that belonged to the great big grizzly. But the branches itched and they pricked and they jabbed and they stabbed Dusty Locks. Something terrible. So she jumped up and down till she stamped them into sprigs. Next, she flopped onto the mama bear's feather bed. Ah, sighed Dusty Locks. Mighty fine. Then she sank down deeper and deeper and deeper and poof, cried Dusty Locks. Too soft. Get me out of here. And then she tested the bear cub little straw mattress and it was neither too hard nor too soft. Just right, said Dusty Locks. And she covered herself up and fell fast asleep. Meanwhile, the grizzlies came home from their hike. At first, they figured their tidy cabin had been struck by a sandstorm. But when the great big grizzly took a look at his dinner, he got riled. Somebody's been eating my beans, he growled in his great big rough gruff voice. Somebody's been eating my beans, said the mama bear in her mild-mannered middle-sized voice. Somebody's been eating my beans too, and has eaten them all up squeaked the bear cub in his little bitty baby voice. Now, Dusty Locks had tipped over the stone. Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled the big bear in his great big grouchy voice. And Dusty Locks had dumped the cushions on the floor. Somebody's been sitting in my chair, said the mama bear in her middle-sized voice. And someone's been sitting in my chair and smashed it all to flinders, squeaked the bear cub in a little bit bigger voice than before. The great big grizzly got really riled. Bean rustler, he roared. Chair buster. And the three bears galloped upstairs looking for trouble. The first thing they found was a heap of stomped Bricks. Someone's been lying in my bed, growled the big bear in his great, big, gruesome voice. Then they saw feathers scattered from here to breakfast. Someone's been lying in my bed, said the mama bear in her middle voice. And then they saw the little straw mat with a rumpled blanket and a dusty, dirty head upon the pillow. Someone's been lying in my bed and here she is, squeaked the bear cub in the biggest voice he had. Well, I'll be bum fuzzled, growled the great big bear scratching his grizzly gray head in amazement. Land sakes, said the mama bear. Smells mighty whiffy in here. P.U. squeaked the bear cub. Is it a skunk? When Dusty Locks heard the big grizzly's voice in her sleep, she dreamed of thunder and lightning. And when she heard the mama bear's voice, she dreamed of her own mother. But when she heard the bear cub squeak, she dreamed she had a bug in her ear and she woke right up. And when she saw three grizzly bears staring at her, Dusty Locks was so scared that she tumbled out of bed, took a flying leap through the open window and made tracks for home. She by moved so fast the dust didn't settle for a week. The moment Dusty Locks' mother got a hold of that dirty little desperado, she dunked her in the bathtub and then she scolded and she scrubbed and she rubbed and she hugged and she kissed Dusty Locks into a whole new girl entirely. And the three grizzly bears never saw her again. Or if they did, they never recognized her.